Hi folks, it's Foss here from thechrisvossshow.com, The Chris Voss Show. Hey, we're coming here with another great uh, episode for our podcast. We are, of course, interviewing Wonderful Boost to see at Cedia. We're at 1651 at the Cedia Show 2019 in Denver. Come on by and see these folks. It's uh, Lifetime Lighting. We're here with the owner, Nate Mullen. Nate, how you doing today? Good, man. How you doing? Awesome sauce. So you guys got this beautiful booth with all these different cool lighting fixtures. Tell us about your company and what you guys do. Well, we're here and we do low voltage landscape lighting, all LED of course, like everybody. But we like to say what makes us different is I really view the landscape lighting industry as bottles of ketchup, all right? So when you go down, my wife's in through the grocery store and tells me to get ketchup. What the hell do I know in ketchup? They're all the same. I grab whatever is closest to me, regardless of price or brand recognition or anything. That's what the landscape lighting industry has turned out to be. So what we do, why we're different, is all of my competitors, and I can say this honestly, none of them have ever installed a landscape light. I've spent my career for 29 years fucking up every job you can ever imagine. When you mess up jobs, you have points of failure, you go back to your job, you come up with new methods, new tried and true trusted methods. So we have now the most innovative lighting line that there is. Now, prior to me with this new lighting company, I started and founded Unique Lighting. So most people have heard of that company, I sold it to Toro. So when my non-compete ran up in July 1st, 2017, I started all these things that I'm going to show you right now. So when you walk around any neighborhood in the United States, you're going to find out that fixtures, stakes are broken, knuckles are broken, all these fixtures, because they're in physical damage in, like I call it, come battleground under the homeowner's land yards, things break. So what we've done is we've invented, right, every single thing in this fixture can be removed and or replaced. Oh, wow. Okay? The shrouds, the hex louvers, the lenses, every single thing. So when that knuckle gets broke, you put a new one and you screw it back in. When this stake gets broke, as it will, the homeowner, the client, you can sit there and lock and load in place. Okay. Now the real genius behind this when it happened is because of that keyway system, if you decide to take a stake mounted fixture and, and turn it into a tree mounted fixture or a down light fixture, all you do is lock and load and put a different attachment on it. Okay. okay? If you wanted to sit there and you wanted to put it into a dome base, right? To go under a gutter, put it under that. If you wanted to put a ring on it, if you wanted to put a hat on it, so this one fixture turns into over 14. So it minimizes the aggravation of ordering the wrong material or the right material, the aggravation of the distributor not having it on the shelf, the aggravation of not doing the job correctly, mm -hmm. right? So it minimizes a lot of things. The other really cool thing about it, because I'm a lighting guy, mm -hmm. we make the only hex louver you can see that this rotates around. Okay? So I can eliminate glare from 280 degrees. Oh wow. The lens is replaceable. And then we have the most finite adjustment out there. Is we can every fixture does this. Okay. But we do this. Oh wow. So we so have totally 540 degrees of different articulations for finite different viewing points. And it looks pretty heavy duty too. I mean, even though I guess some it's some it's plastic, I guess. Well, we always use the word plastic. We use the shit that goes to Mars. It's advanced composite okay. material. Okay. Right? And, uh, but it's an ABS, right, which is extremely strong. Got a couple million year life. Um, and the reason you have to go with something like that because it has to be injected and molded because this is so many different gear mechanisms and so many things going on that this is impossible to do out of metal, unless I did do it on a CNC machine, then this knuckle's 50 bucks. Yeah, then so it gets Typically, really this fixture CNC brass with 30 feet of wire, which you're not seeing right here, uh -huh. um, and a pre installed LED is 8250 to the contractor. Wow. So we have the best price point out there because I manufacture direct to the consumer. Okay, so awesome sauce. We saw a lot of different lighting things here at the show. And so these are some of the different features that really separate you guys from what we've been covering. So do you guys do power supplies as well for these units? Yeah, and we're pretty excited here being at Cedia because everybody here deals with electronics. So um, we happen to come by the booth. We'll really be able to educate you of what makes our power systems different from everybody else's. And really simple and fast. Everybody uses an AC magnetic transformer, a multi-tap. 
So today, because we're all using LEDs, is the sure death of an LED, slow death, but a sure death, is using an AC magnetic transmitter. They require constant voltage, filtered noise, and a bunch of other things. So we really make the only power-driven power supply for the LED market. And there's no points and failures, no hookups, and it's 100% more efficient than anything else on the market. So I'm excited to get more detail from the buyer or, or visit us at uh, Lifetime Land at LifetimeLightingSystems.com. Sounds good, man. All right, guys, well, be sure to come by the booth. Check it out at Cedia Show 2019. Be sure to watch for all the interviews we'll be doing today and tomorrow at the show. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.